In this video, I'm going to be breaking down an intermediate to advanced spin pull routine. If there are any transitions that you're not comfortable with or that you haven't seen before, I recommend downloading the Fit to Flaunt app where I break everything down step by step. Let's get started. For this routine, we're going to start off behind our pole. I have my right hand on the pole and I'm caressing my left leg with my left hand. Remember, to make your hair toss sexy, you want to bring your hand up to the knee and then toss the hair to bring it up. From there, I'm transitioning right into a wrist roll, stepping with my inside foot and going right into my layout spin. I'm going to bring both feet together to allow my hips to come around in front of the pole. Remember that you cannot rush this step, especially since you're on spin pole. Rushing these transitions is what creates a choppy routine. Remember to take your time and allow the momentum to carry you around the pole. Once my hips come in front of the pole, I'm extending my inside leg, arching my back, and pushing down with my top arm, lifting through my chest. Then I'm going to bend that same inside leg to allow me to transition into a climb. Feel free to freestyle on this part and explore different movement patterns. I'm going to have my inside arm extended, outside arm across my chest. If you have not learned the aerial flare on spin, there is a complete breakdown of that move and all of the other moves in this routine on the Fit to Flaunt app. I'm extending both legs, again, allowing the momentum to carry me around. From here, I'm going into an aerial flare which means I am extending my outside leg first, opening, and then my outside leg will go down first. If you do not do this movement in that exact order, again, if you do not follow those exact steps, you will find yourself rocking a lot and bumping into the pole. So remember, it's a flare, which means you're leading with your outside leg. Once my outside leg is down, my feet are coming together again, and I'm allowing my body to rotate. Because we're on spin, you don't have to do anything. You literally just hold on and your body will rotate. There's no need to force the movement. I'm then going to push down so that I can bring my legs up to go right into a sit. From here, I'm going into a straight leg layback, and I'm going to transition into my brass monkey. I'm making sure to maintain pressure with my inner thighs, I hook my outside ankle on the pole. Once my outside ankle is hooked, I can use that leverage to bring my hips past the pole so that I can hook behind my inside knee. If you do not think about sticking your butt out and pushing your hips past the pole, it would be very difficult to hook that inside knee, especially since the pole is spinning. I'm then going into my brass monkey. I'm going to grab the pole with my inside hand and transition into my archer pose. Now, for the intermediate level, this is where the routine would end. For the advanced level, you can transition out of your archer pose by extending that bottom arm, extending both legs and maintaining contact, rotating so that your chest is facing the pole and transitioning into a handspring. You're then going to hook your outside leg, pull up and in in a hood ornament. 